Hey there, this is Jexy with the Systems Alliance, and in this video, we're gonna go over yet again MoviePass screwing up because apparently now their app is glitching out and not letting people cancel their subscriptions. Is anyone surprised? So last month, MoviePass sent out a letter to its customers saying, you know, we apologize, we need to do better with our service, we're going to do better, but of course, people still wanted to cancel. And then just a couple weeks ago, they brought in a brand new plan. So MoviePass now has a new plan, and not just a business plan, which this is a part of, but just new subscription plans for you, the customer. And I went over that in a previous video. But now, a lot of people are still upset with their movie pass purchase you know the terms and conditions have changed you know people didn't really agree to that they had to do it in order to survive as a company so you can't really blame helios and matheson and movie pass for making that decision but you also can't blame people for wanting to quit either since this isn't what they signed up for and a lot of them especially in the comment section of my videos have said as soon as my subscription whether it's for cinemia or movie pass expires i will then be quitting so despite better service supposedly despite new plans people still want to leave but movie pass can't even do that right so if you've ever had the app up and you went to the cancel subscription button the background screen would seem a little bit similar to you but just take a look here at the foreground screen as you can see it's not working there's an error. People can't cancel their subscription. Now, MoviePass did come out with a statement and it reads, we identified and resolved an issue impacting a small number of users who are facing difficulty canceling their subscriptions. As always, we offer many other avenues for canceling your subscription, including contacting customer service through the chat feature in our app or website, or calling our customer service phone number located at the back of the user's MoviePass card. Now, while that might be a nice thing to say, does anyone really believe them? And of course, this is the main problem with MoviePass. They're not trustworthy. They're not able to be trusted. And why? Well, because they've backed out on all their promises before. And when they say a small number, is it really a small number? You know, is it a small number of users canceling? Or is it a small number of those trying to cancel? And what's your definition of small? As we know with MoviePass, their definitions of good customer service and small number are actually pretty big and pretty bad. So we'll just have to see exactly if this continues, if they really fixed it, and how many people were actually affected. But what you have to keep in mind is this is not MoviePass's first time in terms of getting into trouble with issues with cancellation. Back in August, when people were trying to cancel, they were actually re-enrolled into the service. So when people went to hit the cancel button, they instead got an email saying, hey, thanks for signing up for your new plan. And people are just going, wait, what? And same with right now, people are gonna be calling their banks and have been saying, hey, don't let this charge go through. I canceled it, it's not letting me, this is fraud. And that's why MoviePass has a Better Business Bureau grade of an F just like Cinemia. You know, these glitches, so-called glitches that somehow only glitch your way to taking your money. They don't glitch so you can get free stuff. They only glitch in the way that benefits them. So when you're strapped for cash, Hmm, maybe that's what you do. I don't know. Not to mention this happened before when they were implementing their new $9.99 for three movies a month, but it's limited showings, and that's the reason why everyone kind of just dropping movie pass now. But even then, it said that the opting in of this new plan, which is just to continue the service that you already purchased, took priority over any cancellation that you did. So really just kind of underhanded practices you know i won't say they're as shady as cinema is with the fees but once again there's a reason why both cinema and movie pass cannot be trusted and with movie pass once again they need to stay out of the headlines for this bad stuff but they just can't seem to be able to so let me know your thoughts on this would you sign up again with movie pass now that they have the new uh system out there for you the new subscription plans or is this yet another reason why you wouldn't sign up with MoviePass again? Not only because you can't trust them to stay in business, but you, they're still even hard to trust as far as this goes. So let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, hit me up on social media, and we'll catch you later.